okay yeah yeah so uh, welcome everyone to the uh, web development session organized by dsc it patna so let me give a brief intro about myself so uh, i am pavan kumar from department of electrical and electronics engineering and i am uh, technical lead of uh, web development section of uh, dsc it patna so that's that's all from for my intro part uh, am i audible uh, can anyone confirm from juniors yes please yes. uh, okay okay yes, so uh, our today's uh, what what we will do in today's session is like i will uh, demonstrate you to like how you can build a, a, a portfolio website uh, there is no pre any prerequisite or all information i will provide you along with the session so if you have any doubt you can ask me any time uh, since i am i am not uh, seeing the chat box when uh, i am in my vs code so just unmute yourself and ask whatever your doubts and if and if you you can also ask at the end of the session also so that's all now we can start so let me uh, share my screen is my screen visible hello yes pavan okay okay so uh, we can start so i have created this uh, folder and downloaded some images so let's open using vs code i hope my screen is visible and uh, you can see this vs code window right hello Yes, yes sir. Okay, okay. Uh, keep this uh, this session interactive because I don't want to uh, like keep it like some lecture or just interact with me. Okay, and if you have any doubt, uh, just ask me. Okay. Uh, so I have created this folder. Now I will create a HTML file. I will show how to host this using a uh, GitHub also. So be with me till the end. So this HTML file and Make a CSS file also. Okay. So uh, what I will do is I will use uh, Bootstrap so that you can uh, build your website very uh, fast. Like we don't need to write all the CSS and all those things. We can directly use the, the that Bootstrap. Uh, various components are available in that. So I will take you to the Bootstrap website. So yeah, uh, this is Bootstrap website. So from here, what you have to do is uh, just copy this starter template and paste it here. Uh, so yeah, paste it in. Yeah, paste this here. So before starting, I will uh, recommend uh, all of you to install the live server uh, extension from here. Uh, if you click here in your VS code and you will type type server so here you will get this i have already installed so i recommend everyone to please install it uh, it is very useful so what is its use i will show you so yeah so when uh, when after you install this live server you will see a go live button here so when you click th uh, this button it will open in your window uh, browser window so the the code that we pasted here is uh, you can directly see here and if you change anything uh, here like let's say i am trying typing something it will automatically reflect your change here like you don't need to refresh it again and again so that's the advantage of that, that live server what i have installed you okay so is that fine with everyone hello interact uh, guys like am i audible yes okay okay so 
so uh, remove the unnecessary things here and also link this css file here uh, you can do it like So we are building our portfolio website. So like name this title as your name. You can write it as your name. And let us first uh, include a nav bar in our website. So from components, you can see there are various components here like alerts, uh, buttons, and every. Uh, you can explore it more. So we need nav bar. So from here you can see the nav bar. Okay, so just uh, copy this nav bar and paste it here. We remove some unnecessary things like. Let us keep it as home. And here about section. We will create about section. Uh, we will create a project section also. And a and a content content section. Uh, let us change this to dark. Let's see. So yeah, uh, we got this nearby. So now add a background image here. So I have already downloaded this background image. Just add it in. Uh, first of all, in our CSS file, let us set all padding margin. Box. You can change the uh, font also, but I'm not changing it. Let's see, we can change it later. And in about six, we will add a background image. And let us create a about section here. So uh, it is emit of abbreviation I am using. Like if you want to create a uh, a div, div, div with ID like about, so you can write it like ABOU this, and you will automatically generate this div container. So that's uh, that's this one shortcut that I am telling you. So uh, let's add a class here. What to uh, let's set it uh, with height vh. Vh means view viewport height. Set it to two hundred. Okay. Yeah. So here you can see this this image is visible here. Uh, let us make this nav bar st uh, static like and we can make it uh, this nav bar sticky also like it will always placed at the top of the fixed top like you have to do nothing just add this class 
in your and your bar will be fixed okay now let us add a we will fill this component later let's create another uh, div with uh, about 6m so us about so uh, in this let us create a container in this container uh, we will create a, a row about i think we don't need to row and create a heading and in heading you can type like paragraphs and write a paragraph like I have randomly generated some text here to see how it is looking. It is repeating. Oh, sorry, sorry. I have to apply it in home. yeah so now it is looking fine i guess let's give some padding here like you are you are seeing that it is sticking to the top uh, we can give a padding input step by like uh, simply you can write here p by four means adding some pad you will get some padding here like, like you can see that okay so uh, now let us create a project section we have to keep this as id project make a container in inside it this container uh, we will create a row and uh, you can uh, let me take you to the bootstrap website uh, you can see this card component here so uh, we can use this card to show our all, all the projects that we have done uh, here so inside this uh, let us make a column two dot from and paste this card component here and so and uh, let us change the image i have already downloaded this uh, project image and change this title to like project There is some random text here and let us change this button and change its type to small type but a big and stamp and you can uh, see all these uh, things on the bootstrap beside everything is mentioned there i will show you also so like in fact it like view yeah so the uh, you can see like here this card is uh, appeared and it, here is a button also you can add uh, your github uh, link here uh, you can uh, link this this button and when you click this button it will redirect you to your github project repository so that you can do this kind of things uh, let us replicate this card uh, so let us replicate this whole column also and again uh, 
So, let us see how it is looking. Yeah, so you can see that uh, we can we can see uh, multiple cards, but it is not looking that much good. So we can make this. So what you have to do is uh, there is something called Bootstrap Grid. Uh, let us type it here. So we can use this grid system to make uh, all things uh, like uh, you can see uh, bottom up. Yeah. Uh, so uh, think it like uh, this whole your width is uh, divided into 12 uh, columns so you can use one of three column uh, one side one of three column other side you can uh, do it like that like if you want to show uh, like in this you want to show three cards in one row so is this complete width is 12 so how can you distribute like like four plus four plus four you can uh, do it like that so uh, what we will do is uh, in here we we will add a class like for uh, is small screens like uh, as in for small devices we will use whole 12 bit and for uh, medium and large devices uh, we will LG uh, MD for medium and as SM for small for medium devices uh, we will use let let us use four columns uh, so uh, copy this in apply uh, this configuration in all your parts see yeah so you can see that now it is looking uh, good so uh, but this part is just uh, sticking with each other so what we can do is like we can give some padding here no no not not padding margin we can give some margin here so so what we have to do like in y direction let us give uh, two units of margin so you don't, don't need to do anything like don't need to do, write custom CSS, just add this MY2. So what it means, like it will create two units margin in both uh, top and bottom. Just add all this in all cards. Mm. So yeah, now you can see some space here. So it is looking good, I guess. Let us add a heading also here, like in this container, add a h1. Yeah, start a heading here. So, uh, coming to the fourth section of uh, this. So create another div here, device contact. This contact, uh, let us uh, add some uh, form, like from where uh, if anyone visits your website, then if he wants to contact you or write some message, then we will uh, provide a, a form here, like where he can type his message and send to you and you will get through your email. So in this, uh, at the bottom, you can see some form. Uh, from here, you can uh, click on here, layout, and yeah, see. Um, this is looking good. So copy that. create a container here and paste this form here and 
remove some unnecessary things let us keep uh, the submit button and replicate it three times like one for your email one for your name and we will add our text text area here text area for your message part and let us change this to submit How it's looking. So on the bottom you can see this kind of form. Let us change this this one. Let us copy this uh, text area also from this code stuff. You can get some heading. This is looking good. Copy this. This is looking good. Let us change this to our message and think it's hard to do and rpx. Let us add a heading also like from the you can see. add heading from here like H1 okay. H2 So am I audible? Because no one is speaking is are you facing any any kind of doubt? Can anybody respond? Hello? Yes, Paul, you are audible. Okay, okay. So uh, my uh, my screen is visible, right? And all those things yes, that sir. I am doing is visible. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, perfect. So uh, I can uh, show you one thing also like this website uh, we have created using bootstrap so it is uh, completely uh, responsive also like see you can see that these cards are aligned this way and all those things uh, so yeah uh, here you can also see that if you click on about you will move to about section contact you can move to contact section so uh, bootstrap make this all these things very easy like you don't have to write everything all codes for you don't need to write it just you can use those components available um, here i think there is some problem let us see what's the problem here Okay, okay. I might have missed. Can you explain that call and rows means how to manage that? Okay, okay, wait.
yeah now looking good so yeah someone asked me like how you are managing those column rows so see that uh, from here you can see that uh, this is a row right and uh, this is column okay so uh, i have already told you like you can find if and if you search this bootstrap grid here type the grid grid system so yeah here you can find some content like if you want to generate uh, columns like this this complete width is actually uh, 12 units so uh, like if you want to add three columns so how can you use like you can utilize three three columns for uh, this three columns for this three no sorry four columns for this and four four you can uh, distribute it like that is it true uh, yes yeah so uh, like here you can see like it is making a uh, two columns so he is uh, distributing it in 50 50% so if you, if total width is 12 then how can you distribute like you can make this six units and make this six units let me uh, and you can yeah so from here you can see that like i have uh, changed to i have distributed uh, in three columns so i have uh, put four four columns for i have reserved four columns for this four for this and four for this that's what i am doing in the code here also like see call sm12 uh, column md4 for uh, for medium md means medium devices like your phones or small laptops and also for large devices like i have given it four so if your device is large so it will occupy for four units and three uh, three cards will be uh, visible in one row but uh, for small devices i have written it here 12 so here 12 means uh, like i am utilizing the complete space available so uh, see like if i inspect here and i will change the device orient uh, uh, to mobile so it is a small device so i am uh, utilizing the complete space like 12 units so i hope my uh, explanation is uh, clear but if you have not uh, clear we can i can explain you some more uh, at the end of the session so is that okay It's with clear. you clear clear okay 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 so uh, let us uh, add a footer here because Uh, we can add uh, footers also uh, at the end of the let make a footer before making a footer let's uh, give this container some uh, padding like p by 4 so it will look some good in this footer class uh, we don't need to like include my many things just in footer make it uh, display text by content center line item center and uh, let's change its color to white and let us change the background background color some in dark color we can choose let us choose this color okay and um, let us change its height also height let's set up this to 150 px okay um mm. At this footer, let's write some random text like copyright. Yeah, perfect. Everything perfect. Uh, let us see. It is responsible. Yeah. responsive also so this way you can add a, your footer also you can include a 
other things also like your social media handles and you can see different and types of folders on the web and in the internet if you will search you will get many things let us add some some content here because it is not looking good like your first page is just a image and nothing else so let us we can make it some interactive like let us add something here so in this created uh, container and in this container uh, uh, let's create a row in this row let us create a column and for small devices and let us set its width to 12 and for uh, medium devices set its width to let us say 5 and let us uh, add your name here can add my name and here some random text Actually, your heading is behind this navbar, so we have to give some margin above so that it will be visible. So let us give margin here. Let us give hundred clicks. How it is visible? Yeah, so it is visible. Let us remove some text because it is very much. Now you can add some button also here. So use a uh, bootstrap button. So from here, components you can see button component here. From here you can uh, see like there are various kinds of buttons available. You can use any of them. Let's let us use this this button. From here, like you can add some button from where you can give link to download your resume. So you can add your resume button here. So if uh, yeah, you know, this button is visible here, so you can give some, uh, you can attach your uh, resume here. So if anybody like visits your website and he wants to see your resume, you can click here and download your resume i'm just uh, making template and all those things i am not showing you. so i guess this website is looking good so till now uh, do you have any uh, doubts so let's discuss it first hello that one thing that uh, on clicking on like on clicking contact we are um, yeah they are moving to that contact page. So how can you yeah. do that? So how I have I have done this? You are asking that, okay? So let me yes, explain. So if we are not using Bootstrap, then what's the way? Yeah, the, this concept is not for Bootstrap. This is a HTML concept, okay? Like see, uh, 
uh, like uh, take the example of a contact. So I have given this uh, ID, contact ID, I have given this. You can see it like, yes. are you able to see this? I have given yes. this div as a ID, which is name is contact. Okay. And uh, if you will move to the navbar section, so you can see that like I have uh, attached a anchor tag and I have linked this with ha uh, hash contact. This hash means uh, ID. So uh, if you write like hash contacts and if you will click here, then it, uh, it will jump to that section. Like if uh, I have created your uh, project hash projects. So uh, if you will create this link, so, so it will jump to that section. I hope your doubt is clear now. Yes, yeah. So any other doubts? Hello. Uh, how many of you are present? I can see. Okay, too much. Okay, fine. So now I'm I'm going to host this website on the GitHub. So what we uh, we will do is I will go to my GitHub account and uh, go to the GitHub and I will create. Uh, Wait, wait, wait. We will create a new repository here and let us name this as portfolio or my portfolio. After creating this, uh, just copy this. Go to the terminal and create a new term, new terminal from here and add this repository to your local environment. So write the command git remote add origin and paste this link. Okay, okay. So it is uh, showing that it is not a Git repository. So first we have to uh, initialize Git. Git in it. So uh, Git repository is initialized. So what we have to do is first uh, we will uh, push all these changes in our uh, local uh, local uh, Git Git repository. So and after that we will post it on GitHub. So first. We have to write the command git add dot. Now this is added in your staging area. So now uh, we have to commit git. Let's add some message. Let's the commit. Now it is committed. Uh, now we can use this command git remote at origin. It will link our repository with this system. Now the uh, remote is added. We can check this also by uh, writing the command git remote minus v. So yeah, you can see that uh, this is added. So now what uh, we have to do is uh, we have to enter into the main branch. So we can use git remote git branch. Yes, some command is written. You can check it from here git branch minus m main. Copy this. You can copy this also. Just write it. Now you can pause. Get 
Yeah, so now your project is pushed on your GitHub. Or you will refresh, you will see all your files are on your GitHub. So now our uh, na next task is to publish your uh, static web page. This web page, what you have made using uh, GitHub pages. So for that, go to this setting, and here you will get the option of pages. So from here, you have to do nothing but just select here and leave it at is and leave it as it is and click on this save button. So yeah, so now you can see this link. And uh, now from uh, using this link, you can access this website from anywhere. Now your website is published. So let us copy this link and my file name was index for so showing 404 error because uh, it will take some time like uh, 30 seconds or one minute to load completely once it will it will load then you can check it let, let us visit again Now it is it is uh, website is hosted on on GitHub. If you will uh, copy this link and uh, open it on your phone, you can see that. And let me paste this link in the chat box so that you can open it. So I am I pasted this link in the chat box. If you will click uh, this link, you can see this website in, in your phone also. And I will provide all the uh, the code and all those things so you can access that. So I guess that's all what I want to deliver today in this web development session. So do you have any doubt? Please can you summarize that uh, if you made some change in VS code, uh, then it yeah. should be uh, change on the website also. How can we do that? Uh, no, 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 it will not uh, change directly. You have to uh, commit again. You have, whatever you have changed, you have to push it again on the GitHub. Uh, after you have pushed, uh, then yeah, definitely it will change. But if you will change locally and uh, you are expecting that it will change, it, uh, that is not possible. So you have to push it again. I was the whole process point. from uh, committing and uh, adding that all, or only we have to commit the thing? Let us let me show you. Let us say I want to add a, a new link. I see. Like I want to in new bar section. I want to add a link. Let us say social media. So uh, you will uh, go to your live server. You will see that here a new link is added. But if you uh, you will go on the hosted website. So uh, you can see that uh, this is not added here, but you have added in this local. So what you have to do is you have to commit again. Uh, so what we will do is hit add uh, dot. Add it and now uh, it commit minus m plus this link added. 
any random message you can type here. Now you have to post it on the GitHub. Git post origin. So I post it now. If you will check here. Um, I have pushed a change. Yeah, 21 seconds ago. You can see here. And now if you will refresh here, I guess it will take some time, one minute or two minutes. And let me copy this. Take some time. I hope you got my point. It will uh, reflect yes. change within one or two. Yeah, see, it is uh, showing here now. Yeah, so if you will click again on your uh, link, then you can see that. So I hope your doubt is clear now. So any other doubts? I think Two less participation. I'm very uh, disappointed by seeing this. Okay, no problem. So those who are not who not joined today, I will provide recording also. But I was not at least I was expecting the participation. That's why we uh, rescheduled it also because live in uh, I want some live interaction. But okay, let me see. So if you have no doubt, then. I think you can leave. And if you have doubt, then ask me. I will provide the code link. I uh, let me provide it in the chat box also. I brought it in chat box. You can uh, use this code also, and you can uh, use your creativity and do some modifications, and you can do it like that. So that's all. I want to ask we can end is it this. Necessary to name the file as index.html if you want to. No, no, not necessary. You can name it uh, anything. It is up to you. I have saw some see some video that they are telling that uh, if you want to pay, uh, post uh, on live website uh, through GitHub, then it should be index.html. Sorry, so can you repeat it? Can you repeat it out? I have seen some video that they were telling that if you if you want to uh, make it a live website through GitHub, then it should be index.html. So uh, no, 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 not necessary. I I have made uh, many. Uh, websites uh, and hosted like that so it does not doesn't create any problem you can name it anything as you wish okay yeah so it is uh this lecture will be uploaded on youtube so you can watch from there also on official dsc web uh, youtube channel So, okay, I'm leaving.